This here is our starter store called Emeralds, and we've got a nice furniture catalog over here. And you'll notice that I am not currently signed in. My home hero ad tells me to explore dozens of new arrivals and prompts me to shop the living room category. So this home hero is an example of what we call an e-marketing spot. And an e-spot essentially reserves space on a store page to display marketing information. So that can be content, such as this Home Hero eSpot. This promotional banner that we're seeing here is also an example of a content eSpot. An eSpot can also be product recommendations, such as these sofas that we're seeing down here. Or it could even be category recommendations, like we're seeing below as well. And the powerful thing about eSpots is that we can use them to dynamically show different content to different users on the site based on that user's behavior or preferences and do some precision marketing. So we can literally change the entire look and feel all the imagery, the banner ads, the recommended content based on the individuals that we are targeting. So if I were to log in now as a registered customer, go ahead and log in here. Instead of that typical home hero that we saw before, we're now getting back this personalized content. I'm being welcomed back as a VIP customer, appreciated for my loyalty, and I'm given this discount code and told to shop in that discount category. So what we want to empower our customers to do is bring different experiences to their customers. So based on what you know about them, you'll be able to make changes. So this could be based on their customer segment, like we just saw, their past purchase history, or even their shopping behavior. So as we saw earlier, our recommended products that we have here are all different types of different sofas. And our recommended categories that we have down below are kitchen and living room. But what if we notice that our customer has been interested in the bedroom category? Then we might want to tailor their customer experience a little bit differently. So maybe they were shopping for beds. Maybe saw this sleepy head elegant queen bed here and added that to their cart. Now when they go back over to their homepage and scroll down to see their recommended products, they're seeing all these other different types of products like this wardrobe and accent mirror and decorative rug and these chest of drawers rather than sofas. So these are all items that are typically bought for bedrooms because we want to show them items that can be cross-sold and upselled and tailor this experience for this customer. Scrolling down, instead of seeing the kitchen and living room category recommendations, we're now seeing dressers and decorations being recommended to us. Very subtle changes that you can make to your site that can inspire your customers to buy more. And you can build all this precision marketing really easily in our commerce business tooling. So going over to our tab over here, we're now in Management Center for HCL Commerce. This is the business tooling we give customers to manage their sites. And we'll come over to this left navigation bar and scroll down to Marketing. We'll hop into this folder here called Activities. And Activities lets us use eSpots to create targeted content for customers like we just saw on the Emerald site. So I'll go ahead and pop into this one right here, the Targeted Home Hero for VIP Customers. So what we have here is our Journey Builder, where we built a nice flow that says that when a customer comes to the Home Hero eSpot, they'll approach this branch where if they are a registered customer, meaning they're in the registered customer user segment, then we're gonna recommend them some VIP Home Hero content. If not, if they don't qualify for this branch, then we'll go over to this second branch here where we'll show them the general Home Hero content. We also built another activity for our recommended categories. With this, uh, a particular activity, we said that when a customer approaches the home category recommendation eSpot, they'll approach this branch where if they're a bedroom shopper, meaning their shopping cart contains at least one product from the bedroom category, then we're going to recommend them decorations and dressers. If not, if they're a regular shopper, then we'll show them the generic kitchen and living room uh, categories. 
And we did this by targeting customers by their shopping cart, but we can target customers in different ways as well. I'll deactivate this activity so I can show you that. So here we have a list of different ways that we can target our various customers. So what we've got here is a couple like catalog browsing behavior. We can also target by purchase history. We can also target maybe by the current page that they're on or by their shopping cart like we saw earlier or by their customer segment. So lots of different ways that we can target our customers. And it's as simple as dragging and dropping a target over into our journey flow here. So I can say that if a customer had a catalog browsing behavior where they viewed a category, maybe the living room category, then I'm going to want to go ahead and show them that living room category. And maybe we want to combine these as well. Maybe we want to do this based on, let's say, the purchase history that this customer had. We can combine our target and say that if their purchase history contains something very particular, such as uh, scroll up and say they had something from a specific category, such as the kitchen category, then we're going to go ahead and show them the kitchen and living room categories. So they would have to satisfy both of these conditions to be shown in these categories. So that's one way that we can target customers and uh, show them certain things on the site. And here we decided to show different categories, but we can also decide to take a different action here. So the way we can do that is by going over to our actions tool here. We can decide to maybe show them some bestsellers. Maybe our action could be to recommend them a promotion. Here we decided to recommend them a category as their action, or we could recommend them a certain product here as well. So lots of different ways to get creative with precision marketing here. And this is a relatively simple activity, but if we go back to our folder here, we can see that we've got other activities that we've built that have multiple branches. You can create as many as you'd like, and you can choose different types of targets and actions. So here we chose day and time. Here we chose to combine that with customer segment and show several different products as the action. So that is how eSpots and marketing activities can work together to create a personalized store experience.